Hey y'all, welcome. Welcome back to Artistic License, my Sunday stream where we do a little bit of whatever I want today. We're gonna be doing the finale of Mist 3 Exile. I'm so excited to show you guys the end of the game. I'm so excited today. All right, you guys, it's time to start the game. Here we go. Okay, so we're gonna load up where we were last time. Okay, looks like you guys can hear. Um, Koneko, tell me if the levels are are good or not good. Okay, so la so we've gotten two. We've gotten two of the little symbols that go in here. So we've raised this up and opened it up, but we can't reach it yet. We have to get the third. <clears throat> we have to get the third. Okay, so this is how we're this is how we're gonna do it. First, we have to get to the third world. Um, I know Huda folk. I can tell you a little about those. They're Scandinavian fairy folk, and they exist on a plane parallel to humans. Generally, they're invisible to us, but they can make themselves visible at will. They're said to be ambiguously benign as long as they're not insulted. Oh, that's cool. That's a pretty standard, like, fairy folk thing, I think. Okay, so we're going to go here. And we need to go down the ladders. Like this. To the beach area and we need to go to the blue um yeah up to the blue guy okay so it's time to mess with all these like you've seen these like there's one over there um there's one over over there there right there um they're all over so what we have to do is get the light to bounce around with them so we're going to start with this um with this blue one okay and um let me just look at my notes, because now that we skipped a week, like I don't I like my memory is kind of fuzzy. So I think we start with the blue one. Oh, no, wait, I'm a liar. We start with the yellow one. So we have to go to the yellow one first. So we have to make the yellow one point to the blue one, which should be, um, I think, four turns, if I remember correctly. So that's two turns. Three turns. Uh, four turns. And then I think that'll make it point to the blue one. Like, I think if we look, like, through here. No, not this one. Look through here. Yeah, so if we look through here, it'll point to the blue one. Okay. Um. Yep, and then we go to the blue one. And we got to make the blue one point to the green one. So you can see it doesn't right now. Let's see. I don't remember how many times you turn this one. But I know we got to point it to green. So, yeah, so now it's pointing to green. Um, okay, then we got to go to green, which is, wait, where's green? Is that the one that's across that way? I think that's all across that way. So, oh, what's the best way to get over there? Maybe I just can just go around. Yeah, I'm not messing with you yet, Mr. Red. Like this, got to go this way. <laughs> So I discovered yesterday from streaming that um, I am still a bit sick. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure y'all noticed like the coughing and stuff like that still happened, you know, um, yesterday. So, so yeah, uh, hopefully I'm not exhausting my voice too much because I really, really wanted to stream. I didn't want to skip again, um, you know, after not streaming at all last week. So we're going to, we're going to finish Miss today for sure. Okay. We're at the green one. So green needs to point to red. Okay, so that's making it point to blue. We need to make it point to red. Am I looking in the wrong hole? Am I supposed to be looking in another one? Yeah, okay, that's not right. Let's go look at this hole. Okay, blue. All right. No. Well, there's only so many combinations, so we're going to figure this out. There we go. No, it's, it's pointing to red. Yeah, I was looking in the wrong spot. Okay. So we point it to red. Then we're going to go over to red over here. And um, we need to make red point to the other yellow, which is like over there, right over there. So like this maybe? I can't remember if I'm supposed to be looking through this side or the other side. We're going to find out. Okay. No, I must be supposed to look on through the other side. Look on through to the other side. Okay. 
So basically there's mirrors inside here that are that are making it like uh, about how it looks. So we got to switch them around so that the mirrors are all proper. Okay, so here's the yellow one and then yellow needs to point over to purple. Okay, it already is. Click in the right spot, Karen, gosh. Okay, let's go over to Mr. Purple. And purple needs to point to red. Hopefully I did all of this right. Okay, so now what we should be able to do is come all the way over here to this last tusk that we have not messed with. Up here. Yeah, right here. And if we... Okay, I'm missing something because it's supposed to be rainbow. Mm -mm -mm -mm. How do I get the light through there? I'm trying to remember. I don't have notes on this. I must have missed this step. Is there a button on this guy? If you do it all correctly, you're supposed to get light through here. So I did not do it correctly. And all I have is my own notes. I might have to look at like the, uh, the, the actual guide. Okay. Yellow points to blue. Blue points to green. Okay, let me let me look at the actual website that has like the guide for this game. Okay, there is a step that I skipped. All right. I don't know why I did not put messing with this in my notes. I was supposed to mess with this guy. Okay, so I remember what you're supposed to do here. So you turn this guy around. Turn, turn, turn. You you can't tell this is going to happen until it's about to happen. So you turn this around and you... Oh, oh, there's an opening. Oh my gosh. What the hecky? Okay, and now there's light. Now there's light. Okay, and the light goes here to the blue. Anyway, if I, I think I did it all correctly and it should all bounce around. So let's go see if it was just that I forgot to turn on the light. Yeah, the light can't really bounce through the fire mar marbles if I don't turn it on. Okay, I didn't do it correctly because it's still... It's not bouncing through. Okay. Well, now at least I'll know what directions that they need to go. So let's try this again. All right, so yellow... Oh, let's go back to my notes. Okay. So yellow needs to point to blue through right here, because that's where the light is going. And it does. Okay. So then I need to go around to the blue one. Over here. So the blue... Okay, so you can see where the light's going through. So I need that light to point to green. I think that'll, oop. I thought I just did it and I think I, cl I clicked it again. Oh my gosh. Shine in my face. This way. Okay, and then we go here and so that I can look through. Okay, and it's pointing Hmm. Hmm. This isn't right. Let's do the do one more turn. Okay. Okay, that was correct. Okay. So then let's go around back over to green. Oh, that's not the way I wanted to go. Back this way. 
They make you like walk around the whole ass island to make this happen. Okay, back to green. And it's okay that I skipped a week and so my memory is now super rusty on what we're supposed to do because I have you guys. And if they make me count anything, I can just I can just rely on you. <laughs> okay, so then green needs to point to red or its light needs to point to red. I want the light to come through this way. Okay, why is that not working? You can count. That's right. I can count on you guys. Okay, why? I had it pointing to green, didn't I? I suppose not. I suppose not. Okay. So it should come through here and point to red. Okay, so that should be correct. And then... Red, so I messed up the other one. So red from this direction, so red's definitely wrong. So red from this direction needs to point to that yellow one. Yeah. And then the yellow one from that direction needs to point to the purple one. Okay. So it's back on, okay, it's back on this one over here that I messed up, I'm pretty sure, the green. Oh, come back this way. Yeah, because it goes yellow to blue, then blue to green. So this is, should be... Okay, yeah, this one is messed up, because it's from this direction. Haha! -ha, there we go. That's got to be it. Yeah, and then we peek through, and it's green. Okay. So then let's go back. This way. Okay, so we got purple, and then the purple is supposed to point next to red over here. So from over this direction, okay. And it's supposed to point Yeah, that way. Haha, -ha. and you can see now it's rainbow. Okay. It helps it when you're trying to do a light puzzle if you turn on the light source. Who knew? Learn something new every day in these missed games. So educationals. All right. Now we've got rainbows. Okay. And you push the buttons in the order that we did it. Okay. So you would go, um, you would go yellow, blue, green, red, yellow, purple, red. Unlock. All right, and now we've got the same puzzle we've done a couple of times. As you guys remember, you do this in the order. This one is the, the leaf tusk. So we're going to put these marbles where they're supposed to go on the leaf tusk. So this one, I'm pretty sure, is like here. And the outer one should be here. No, the outer one should be here. This one should be here. And this one should be here, I think. Yes. All right, tea chugging done. And here we go. It's time to go to Voltaic, you guys. Oh my gosh, it's so oceany. Oh, it's a little island. Okay, let's go. This is Voltaic. It is red and blue. Okay, so 
Um, this world is definitely, I think, a bit more challenging. It kind of, I feel like I kind of went in order of the challenge level. Or I tried to anyway. All right. So, okay. We're going to basically just move forward here. And um, there's only so much we can do at first. We can open this up, and here's our link back to Jananin. So just like the other worlds, you're not stuck here. You can immediately go back to Jananin if you don't know how to solve the puzzles, or if you get stuck on the puzzles, and you can go tackle another world if you want to. Okay, so we need to follow the walkway now back this way. So we're just gonna we're just gonna walk this way for kind of a a, a bit. Okay, and we come to an intersection here. I think I'm supposed to keep. I don't think I'm supposed to. Yeah. Yeah, so this leads down to an elevator that we can't use yet, so we're not going to go down there. So the whole point of this world is to get power turned on to the things that it's supposed to power. All right, so we're going to go down this main walkway. You can see there's a crazy, like, skeleton, like, spine-looking thing over there, and we're going to walk along this, like, probably terrifying in real life walkway, but it's a, in a mist game, so it's not that terrifying. <clears throat> okay. And then we're going to come down this way. So we passed a lot of stuff that we didn't interact with, but we come down here and we can see like a, a kind of like an airship looking thing. So we're going to come down here and we have this puzzle right here with some, some gauges. So we need to tackle this puzzle. <clears throat> So we've got these this colored gauge right here and four valves. So three of these wheels turn. This one, yeah, and then this one does not turn. So this is another one of Saavedra's sabotages. So he broke this wheel so it can't turn properly. So that's something to note. So then what we're gonna do is, let's see. Mm -mm -mm. There's another wheel valve here. Also does nothing. Okay. <clears throat> nothing down there. I think we have to go back down the walkway. There's some pages somewhere close to here. Um, let's see. <laughs> no, maybe we are supposed to go back down here. Oh yeah, we're supposed to go up this guy, this ladder here. Hello. So up the ladder, um, and we can come onto this platform right here and there's some pages. Okay, let's read the new pages. The cavern wall is almost ready. For weeks, I have been polishing it, rubbing away at the cracks to obtain a smooth surface. I haven't been able to sleep much these last weeks. I was afraid I might never wake up. But if I can make him see all that happened, if I can show him the pain his family caused, it will be worth it. Tomorrow, I begin mixing the paints. Okay, so he's talking about how he got his paints together so that he could paint the mural so that when Atris was going through all of these puzzles that we're doing now, that he could see it. So we're going to come up here. We're going to open this. And now we can get through here. So we're going to step across this way. And we're going to go across this spine looking thing. And then here, we want to open this up. And then we can crawl through this pipe, which is not scary at all. It's not a scary thing. And then if we come down here, we can open this grate. Now, this is easy to miss. So you can only, you hit a dead end here, so you would just turn around and go back one more, and then you can go down the grate. All right. So now we are in the lava room. So you can see there's this this crazy room right here. There's this this turnstile. It's got like this little bolt stuck into it. This is another one of Saavedra's um, sabotages that he has done. All right. <clears throat> so we're going to open this door. 
because Saavedra has sabotaged that mechanism. And now this is the door that was locked before. So if we come down here and go this way, I think it's the red path. Yeah. So this is that this is where we were before when we came through here. And I said, like, oh, you know, it's nothing's going to work if we come down here yet because we have to unlock it from the other side. So we actually want to go down the blue path right now. Okay, and then we come to this area, and you can see that we've got some symbols here and some things that are hooked up together. And then on this side, we've got a ladder that goes up. So if we come up here, you'll see like some other things. Okay, so let's go back down. I don't think we want, we don't want to go up there yet, right? Um, no, wait, we do, we do. Go up the ladder. Okay. Okay, and come out here, and then we want to turn this red wheel. And then that is going to open up the dam. Okay, so now we have the start of our hydropower. The water is coming in now. The water is coming in. And what you're supposed to be able to see from up here is that this right down here is a water wheel, but it's not turning. Um, it's not turning because the paddles are not open. So we have to kind of, we have to figure out how to do that. So if we come back down, um, we can kind of see like there's water supposed to come in and, and turn and turn this wheel to like, excuse me, push the energy out. <clears throat> okay. So, all right. I think, so if we come here, you can see that there's a broken window here. This is how Saavedra sabotaged the paddles, but I think I'm not supposed to do that yet. I think I'm supposed to come out here and do this first. Um, so I think, oh no, I can't unlock that yet. Am I supposed to go down here? I feel like I'm supposed to do something over here first. Oh, maybe let's push this button. Yeah, I think this is it. Okay, I think I'm supposed to do this first and then do the paddles. Okay, so we push that up. And then we come back out here. Yeah, this isn't turned on yet. Okay, so now I think I'm supposed to come back, if I remember the sequence correctly, and push this. And now we get water. We get water power because the, the water wheel is turning. And then if we come through here, yeah, it's green now, so you can actually open this door. Wee! <laughs> it's turning. It's turning. So we can we can do spinnies. Okay, let's go through the door. <sighs> All right, so let's go down this ladder. And we're in this room and oh, it's another message thing. Okay, let's see what Savedro has to say to us. line at the corner of her lip that pulls her whole mouth down when she smiles, the flutter in her eyelashes. I tried so hard to picture her in my mind, put her down on paper as if that might bring her back. I couldn't do it. Atris, I'm not you. That's so heartbreaking. He's trying to remember his wife. He can't remember his wife. I feel like that was kind of quiet. I jacked it up halfway through. I'm jacking it all the rest of the way up so that that doesn't happen again. Okay. So, so Saavedra is very sad. He cannot remember his wife. All right. So now what we're going to do is we've got these circle steps right here. We're going to go along the circle steps. And we're going to come to this room right here. So in this room, you've got these panels. So you can see this one is a Denis number one. Yeah, it's really sad, right? Like, that's why this game is so good. So this is a Denis number five, um, Denis number four, Denis number three, um, Denis number two. Okay, there are some pages on one of these. I feel like, yeah, here's some, no? There, I thought there were pages here on the ground. Um... Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Anyways, 
Um, I maybe there aren't pages here, and I'm just misremembering. <laughs> I'm sure there's five. I'm actually sure there's five this time. Okay, so um, here's the deal. I'm gonna go to the one I actually know the solution to. Number two is what I know the solution to. Yeah. So wait, is this? Yeah, this is number one. So this is number two. Okay. So if you open this up, you'll see that there's these kind of like circuits in here and the entire thing is connected. So if I adjust the circuits here, it's gonna adjust the circuits in number one, one, three, four, and five as well. So I, I do know the solution for number two. So we're gonna, if you do the solution on one of them, it's gonna do the solution on all of them. So that's what makes this puzzle kind of challenging. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna push these and um, I'm pretty sure I know the solution. Uh, is that right? Maybe it's not on number two, because this doesn't look familiar. Uh, now it will rotate, like it's rotating through all of them, so like it's really long. Oh, no, 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 wait. That's, no, that's almost right. That's right. Okay, but is this one right? This one's not right. I don't think the one I'm remembering is on number two. Maybe it's on number one? Or four? Shoot. <gasps> um... Yeah, this is two, right? Oh no, this is number five, isn't it? Yeah, that's number five. It goes one... It goes one, two, like this. I think this is number two. I just forgot my Denis numbers for a second, I think. No, this ain't right either. Hang on. I'll know it when I see it. I don't think this is right either. Karen can't count again, right? I know, right? Oh my gosh. Okay. No. The thing is, the top doesn't look right to me. Like, I, there should be, like, because you can't see how you can't adjust the very top one. Like, I think that there's only two prongs on the one that I know the answer to. Okay. Okay, it's got, wait, it's gotta be this one. Okay, this is the one, this is the one. <laughs> Thank you, Koneko. As is well known, I cannot count. I cannot count in any language, it doesn't freaking matter. Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm on the right one now. I, the one with the two prongs is the one that I, I know the answer to. So it goes like, that's right. many rotations to go around so you can see how like this puzzle right here people can get stuck on pretty easily because it feels like you're just going forever oh wait 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 oh that's very close that's not quite it though is this one at the bottom it no this one at the bottom's not it either i think i've got the top one correct but not the other two let's mess with this one for a second Thank you for so loyally clipping that. Kind of <laughs> <laughs> uh, I keep thinking like someday I'm going to learn to count. Someday I'm going to learn how to do the numbers. And then it just, it never happens. I will never learn or get any better. Okay, this isn't quite right. Because I know it needs to be blank all the way down the left side. Like, oh, like that. Okay. Let's mess with this one now. This? No. This. Okay, and you know you did it right because it automatically, the puzzle is done and it just like backs you up and you're good. Okay, so here we go. We did it, you guys, we did it. Okay. <laughs> um, now, okay, I do, there are more Savedra's pages somewhere here. It says it, my notes say it's near four, but I don't, is this not four? Like, I thought they were back here one of, on one of these. Ah, wait. They're in front. 
I just misremembered where they are. Okay. It's taking too long. Every minute I spend searching his house runs the risk of someone walking in and finding me. I would bring his journals to the tusk, but I'm afraid he will notice them gone. Already, I am afraid of what he knows, of what his wife might know. She almost caught me last time. I had linked directly into the sunroom. I was walking towards his study when I heard footsteps coming down the hall. She was talking with someone. She was laughing. And for one heart-wrenching moment, I thought she was Tamara. Then I remembered my Tamara is dead. I left her to die. When I went after the brothers, I told her to go to the reef, to take our two girls there and hide. I took the necklace she gave me to remember her, and I told her, Oh God, Tamara, I, I, I told you it would be all okay. For years I prayed my words were not a lie, that you had made it to the reef, that you were tending and aiding lattice roots by the weaving tomorrow how I prayed. Until I opened this machine. I saw Narayan through his shield, and even though the barrier kept me locked inside, I knew. I knew the lattice tree had died. Narayan can't survive without the tree. No one can be alive outside his shield. Standing in Atris's house, knowing that my wife and children were dead, I felt the fog roll towards me again. And as much as I wanted to give in to its numbness, I couldn't. I couldn't let Atris' wife find me standing there. Somehow, I waded through the haze. I made my way to the study, found the book that would take me back to Janannan. It was right where I'd left it, where they might not see it fall. I placed my hand on the panel. I heard the door behind me opening, and then the study disappeared. She almost saw me. I know it. It was much too close this time. If the book hadn't been where I'd left it, next time I'll bring a book from one of his other ages with me, just in case it happens again. Okay, so we find out that the memory of his wife being gone from his head is so important because he doesn't believe she's alive anymore. He doesn't believe she's alive because he did make it to Narayan at one point back home but because he can't make it out of the shield that Atris had put up as the final puzzle for his sons, he thinks that no one is alive, that the trees died and therefore most likely all of the people are dead too. So that's what he believes at this point, that everyone that he ever knew is gone. So we're gonna head back and we can hear the electricity humming and we're gonna kind of see where that left us. So we're going to go back up here. Back across this mini. We're not going to spin around that time. We're going to come back through here. And we're going to take a look at our, our chart here. So you can see all of these different lights are on because we've turned the power on and turned all these things on. There is one more that we still need to do. <clears throat> Alright, so we now need to continue. Um... Do I go up the ladder? No, I don't think so. I think I'm supposed to go back this way. All right, now we're gonna continue to here. And now that we've got all that power on, we can come back here and we can actually do something with the lava room. So we're gonna go down here and there's a door here that we cannot open. And if you try to look through, you'll see it's because if we actually opened it, lava would fill in. So thank God we can't open it and die. That's good. <laughs> I'm so glad for that. So we're gonna come around over here and you can see that this is sabotaged. You can't, you can't pull it through the middle, which you're supposed to be able to. All you can do is pull it up or down for it to go around clockwise or counterclockwise. So to get this fixed, <clears throat> We need to go clockwise. So that would be, yeah, this way. Down. Come on. I always struggle to pull this stupid thing. Right? I'm supposed to, I swear to God, I'm supposed to go clockwise, right? Yeah, rotate it red clockwise. Oh my gosh, Nikki! <gasps> Nikki! Oh my God, it's been forever! Girl, how are you doing? Nikki! Please give me a life update. I have got to know. How have you been? I miss you so much. Okay, maybe I'm supposed to do it counterclockwise? Okay. Um, I was supposed to do it counterclockwise. Okay. To let light into the room. Um, okay, now that we did that, 
I think I'm supposed to be able to go in. Yeah, so now I can actually get in here because the lava is it was moved down. So if we come through here, we can see another similar control. And this one's not got the middle sabotage in it from Saavedro. All right. So now we need to go this way to move back up now that we're inside the room. Karen can't clockwise. It was supposed to be counterclockwise. And my notes were just wrong. <laughs> And we can see um, one of Saavedro's paintings on the wall here. So you can see like Narayan burning. So he came in here and he painted this just like some of the others that we've seen. Um, so now we want to go. Come on. Yeah, so, OK. This way. Yeah, so this raises up and moves over. Girl mask got canceled on Reddit. <gasps> so I got two year old for there being in my head right, and now a lot of what they said was defo valid, and I was a terror. Now it's all just good vibes. I've missed you. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry you went through that, but I'm so glad that you're better. I'm so glad that it was um that it was something you were able to go uh, grow from. A lot of times cancelings are not like that, and uh, and it's like extremely unfair. So um and I'm sorry you went through that like a year of that. That's crazy. That's crazy. Well, you know, you're welcome back in my community at any time. You were always beautiful and awesome and lovely in my community. Um, so, OK, we can get a better look at the painting now. So you can see there's a uh, there's um, Atris. I mean, not Atris, uh, freaking Cirrus and Akinar, uh cackling as they as they let Narayan burn. OK, so um, so now. Yep, like this. We needed to go down again. And we go up a little bit more. And since it's on the other side, we can actually get to this. And this is a switch that we can press. And that should turn on the fan. I think I heard it come on. I saw your video with Sasha and Loki thought y'all were talking about me. Oh my God, girl, absolutely not. But that totally explains why I had a notification from you. And then when I went in, I couldn't find the comment. And I was like, what'd she say? What'd she say? It's Nikki again and I missed her. No, we were absolutely 100% not talking about you. We, I'm not even on that Reddit. Like now that you've said that, I know which Reddit subreddit you're probably talking about, but I don't even use that one. So I've, I literally, I have no context. I have no idea what you're talking about. Um, I, all I know is which Reddit it probably happened on from what you're saying. But I legit have to go back to that Reddit and like dig in to try to figure it out. Like, I don't know. <laughs> so I couldn't have been. <laughs> couldn't have been. Uh, okay. Where was I? I'm sorry. I got a little, I got a little distracted seeing one, one of my besties again. Okay. Um, da, 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 da. Okay. So now we have to kind of backtrack. So we need to do this to move it back over to the other side, right? Oh, no, 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 that wasn't, okay. Nope, go back. Sasha commented on the post, I assume, but that's literally a year ago. Girl, she doesn't even know, I promise you. Even if she did, she doesn't even know. Uh, dang it, I was trying to move you up, not to the side. I mean, she may vaguely remember, but I promise you she doesn't really know. Okay, anyway, let's try again. Oh my god, stop doing that. I'm trying to move you up. I hate doing these stupid controls. This, this actually, this happens to me every time. Um, okay, we're just going to go up and we're going to let go quickly. We're going to go up and we're going to let go quickly. There we go. Now it's going to go down and then I can move it across. We're very close to the lava. We're very close to the lava now. We should be hurting, but we're not somehow. It can't handle my awesomeness. That's true. That's absolutely true. It can't handle it. It's all good. It didn't take it any type of way. What are you playing for real Z's? Okay, so it's not my birthday quite yet, but we are gonna do a birthday stream on Saturday the 22nd, which is, the 22nd is literally my birthday on a Saturday. We're gonna be playing some, um, we're gonna be playing some Stardew Valley. Right now we're doing Miss Three. So the reason why that I've got the exclamation birthday here 
right here. Oh yeah, Koneko, thank you so much. Is because I've got, you see these packages behind me? So that's the explanation for the packages. We are gonna open the the birthday gifts um, at probably about 2 p.m. ish on my uh, on my birthday stream on the 22nd. So not this coming Saturday, but the next Saturday. Okay, and then I think I move it up and that's gonna drain the lava back out and I can go back down. Yes, okay, now I can get back out. So the whole point of that was to get the fan to come on. Jacob, hello! How are you doing, my friend? Yeah! Um, I've had, you know, we finally have a Saturday birthday. I've had weekday birthdays, of course, for years. You know how that how that works. So Saturday birthday is going to be awesome. Um, it's going to be so much fun. Okay, so now that we've got the fan back on, we actually want the lava to come back so that we can get some power from it. And you're a Leo? Almost. I miss Leo by a few hours. I'm a Cancer. I'm a Cancer, babe. Barely, but I am. Um, okay, so then... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I think it's up, up. No, must be down. There we go. Okay, so we get lava back in there and the fan is going and it's all hot. Okay. Oh, have a delicious, tasty dinner, Koneko. Tell me what you're having when you get back. Okay, so now I think I go back out this way. Yeah, this way. My dad's a cancer too, they're good peeps. I, I, I'm a good cancer. All the cancers I know are beautiful, awesome people. Um, I'm sure sometimes that we're annoying because we cry a lot, but that's okay. Crying is good for you. Is that like I know anything about astrology? <laughs> I think it's fun. I love that sort of stuff. I think it's really super fun. Um, okay. Mm -mm -mm. All right. So now that we did all that, we've got all kind of, we got the power from the water. We got the power, the electric power coming on for, that was powered by the water. We've got the lava power going. And now if we come around here, when we turn this valve, stuff should actually happen. I think. Maybe not. I thought it was that valve next. Uh, let's see. I missed something. I didn't do the lava right. Okay, wait, let's go back to to our lava lava friend. I didn't do the lava right because that should have power now. So something's wrong with the lava room. Let's go back. Pisces cry a lot too in their vibe too. I love Pisces as well. Emotional peeps teach us teach those of us that aren't how to speak from vulnerability and that's a powerful gift oh i love that that's so true that's so true because it's hard for a lot of people i think to be vulnerable like that okay i thought i had you going good okay back down okay but that's not that's not what we want we want you to go up okay so up Hmm. I have made a mistake somewhere. Okay, wait. Let's send it back down. Okay, I think I was supposed to leave the wheel on the other side, and that's why it's not doing doing proper. So we did get the fan open, like that happened. But I think I was supposed to leave the wheel on the opposite side. Like, I think I'm supposed to do this. And then go back in the room and send it back up. Okay. Now let's make everything go up. Yeah. Now it's like super red. Okay. I'm pretty sure that we did it right this time. Okay. So, oh, not down there. This way. Oh, excuse me. All right. Now we go back this way. And now that valve should do something, something. The memories are coming back, y'all. There we go. Steam power.
All right, so we need to mm -mm -mm -mm. turn these all on, I'm pretty sure. All right. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, so essentially what we're trying to do is get this little guy right here to point to this red line right here. Like, that's the magic. That's where it's supposed to point. Um, <clears throat> oh, I'm supposed to close all these. Not open them all. <laughs> Come on. So he sabotaged this one right here. So basically you can see when I'm closing and opening them like the needle moves. So there's a certain combination that will make it sit proper. So we're going to close them all. We're going to do that. Because now we've got it working, we can actually go up additional levels. So it's not just those four. There's um, there's other levels of these two. All right. <clears throat> so on the second level, we need to close all of these. And I think on this puzzle, there's actually multiple combinations that will work, if I understand it correctly. Um, but this is the combination I know will work. Okay, then we're going to go up again. Oh, not back down. I wanted to go up. It's not what I meant to do. Up, up and away. Okay. There we go. Okay. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So we're going to close this valve. Um, yeah. Okay. And then we need to go back down. Then we need to reopen these two. Because we had to do all that, close them to like get all the way up to the top. So now we're kind of like going on our way back down and kind of reopening as we go. So we're going to reopen those two. And you can see kind of where the pointer is. Um, <clears throat> okay. Yeah. And then we're going to go back down to the very bottom. And we're going to open them all again. And it should go to the right spot. And yes, we did it correctly. So it's right by that red line. That is exactly what we want. <clears throat> All right. So now that we've done that. I think it's this, is this what? I want the air to flow into the gondola. I think I do this. Yeah, that looks right. So now that we've got that set up, it can open up that big old um, pipe there so that the steam can go into the gondola. And ah, oh, the balloon light, uh, fills up. And it's going to start to try to move forward, but it's going to run into this. Boom. So we got to open up that door. I think it's... Oh, wait, no. I'm supposed to go this way. Right? Back up here? Is that correct? Is that right? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh no, it's that lever down there. Wrong way. Wrong way. It's this lever over here. 
There's a lot of like walking around in circles in this area. So we come over here and go here. Now that we've got all the power restored, this elevator right here will work. If you try to do it too early, this elevator won't do anything. But now we can actually get down to this bottom walkway. And um, come over here. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh, Kitty! Kitty's sending me from my throne thing uh, some fancy kitty cat ears. So I'm gonna have that for my birthday. It's gonna be so much fun. And there we go. Now it's open, and the gondola can come through. Just realized I have 1.5k points in here. Oh my gosh, Nikki. It's been so long. I'm so glad you retained your points. So it's going to pull us along until it kind of can't go anymore. So what we are going to do next is actually get in and ride the gondola. And then, so we need to pull this to get it to detach from the walkway. And then it can move forward. Here we go. We're going to go on another little ride. They love to go on rides in exile. It's the best. There's the water wheel that we made working before, and you can see it's got a beautiful waterfall coming out of it. So you can see the, the fruits of our labor. What surprises will Spirit send me this year? Okay, we will do that. We'll do that after um, this world, before we start the next one. Okay, so then we can come out here, and we can pull this lever. And that's gonna connect it to the next little spot. Push all the buttons, Nikki. Nikki, you push all the buttons. That's the whole point of Mist, so you're, it's appropriate to what we're streaming as well. And whoa, the island lifts. So if you remember when we were um, when we were doing Adana, he Savedro had um, a thing, uh, some journal pages where he was talking about floating rocks. He was referring to these floating rocks right here in this world. So you can see them. Wow, that looks so cool. Now I assume that something about the electricity that we turned on in this world is what makes those rocks float. Um, it's not really fully like explained, but that's what I what that's what I think. That's what I think. So there we go. So now we've made it back to the beginning. And this door that we could not get in before that was locked, it's green now, and green means go. So we're gonna go right on in. All right, and we are gonna climb down here. And open this up. And there we go. Third symbol. So we're going to write it down. Okay. So now that we've got that, we can look up. And here's what you do. You open up this. And here is our linking book back to Jananin. So we can go right back to Jananin right here. All right. That was that world. So let's see what Savedro has to say from the third and final symbol. Yeah, yeah, Nikki, a lot has um, changed about the stream, I think, since you were last here. Like, we've we've changed up, we've got, we have like a lot of um, sound alerts now, and we don't, I don't use the actual sound alerts app, so I have a lot more that can be like channel points. Um, so it's good, I like that, instead of, you know, having to pay the 10 cents or whatever. All right, so now we want to take this symbol. We're going to put it here, and we're going to watch our little video. See what see what he has to say. You've done well, my sons. But there's still one task ahead of you. The linking book you see here connects to an age called Narayan. 
It's a very delicate age where civilization has emerged in response to the world's imbalances. It's also the first inhabited age I'm sending you to alone. But don't be afraid. The knowledge you've acquired here will show you the way in. Use it and see all that Narayan has to offer. Oh, so Vedra doesn't interrupt that one. It's just Atris. Okay. So now that we have watched that last message, we can actually come over here and we can click on the Narayan book. So what we're going to do next is actually pause the recording here. So... If you are watching the VOD on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Uh, the next episode should be up tomorrow, the finale. So uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.